coffee. What's up? Hey, come on, I thought you guys would never leave. Go, go, go. <laughs> Work, exams, work, exams. I need to meet some Darcy. Mm -hmm. I have something to show you. Kim got me a job as a counselor. Darcy does summer camp. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of movie. <laughs> Sucks I'm gonna have to stay here in Toronto and miss it. With lots and lots of other girls around. Darcy, I don't want to be with anyone else. You're everything to me. <laughs> Sorry. Stop. We can't. We took a vow. And to remain virgins till marriage. Virgins. Yeah. Totally. until three. It's you in the food line. Beats the hospital, yay therapy. Although, compared to the calf, hospital food gets a bad rap. Oh no, food and drinks. We need refreshments for the variety show, and I still don't have a tech crew. Manny, you're the director and the lead actor. And... This is your show, take charge. I've been reading blogs by Christian teens on abstinence. It's all about prevention, so you have to find ways to stay busy. Okay, all you Degrassiites. The variety show needs volunteers, so come on, everyone, show some support. Take it off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How perfect is this? Man, when God answers prayers, he is quick. Sign us up, Manny. Oh my gosh, Spinner, you are my hero. <clears throat> and you too, Darcy. So, grad weekend is almost here, okay. and our 50th anniversary variety show is coming together very nicely. <laughs> and attention spans are zero, so it must mean that it's time for my post-secondary preparedness class. First up, finances. Um, my hoped-for university, Banting, plethora of scholarships, but when it comes to me, they haven't been so accepty yet. Well, acceptances are just trickling in, and I'm sure when yours comes in, Paige, you'll be prepared. I'm prepared for a nervous breakdown if it doesn't. Maybe I'll get a tattoo. Hello. Discussing the future here, my future, as in things that could affect the rest of my life. Or I could learn how to play the bass. These are your future plans? Things that could happen next week? It's called living in the now. We both know the most important thing about the now is me. Look, the big envelope from Banjing, and everyone knows the big envelope means you get in. And I did. I got in. We are so out of here. You're late, and our boss has been breathing down my neck. Um, what part of we are so out of here didn't you understand? We? I didn't get into Banjing. And don't forget, topping halfway, and then again on top. Thanks. Well, maybe you could come with. We could get our own cozy little place. Sounds cozy, but what would I actually do in Kingston? You could work. Get a transfer from the movie theater. You can keep that topping coming, miss. You'll be studying your butt off and making new friends, and I'll still be dishing out popcorn? Miss, do I need to show you what I mean by more topping myself? Can't wait for your heart attack. Next time you insult a customer, maybe not in front of your manager. Alex, can I see you in my office? Stop, stop. Do I have cooties all of a sudden? I just, 
I don't want it to go too far, okay? I bet if Manny were here, she'd be all over you, just like in the calf. Oh, that was nothing. That's just Manny's way. She's always like that. I can only imagine what she was like when you two were going out. You want to play by play? Spare me. I can barely stand the idea of you being with her at all. Truth is, when I was with Manny, we did nothing together. Zip. You're serious? Yeah, I wasn't even into her that way. Her whole sexual past uh, just turned me off. So you're really a virgin? I'm so virginal. Mary's jealous. <laughs> I feel so bad now about Manny. You know, if she just repented and purified herself, her past could totally go away. You can do that? Yeah, it's a ceremonial thing. I think it could really help her. Hey. Candy and a chick flick? Someone's got it bad. Yeah, well, it's no clown academy, too. But if Darcy's happy, I'm happy. But you're not. Mm, I'm great. Everything's peachy. Banting? You're looking at their newest XFD. Hey, Jets, awesome. Get over here. Oh. Banting is like the Harvard of the North. I'm like, so happy for you. This is so cool. Oh, candy's on me. It's my treat. The evil one made me clean the bathrooms. Then she fired me. For the topping incident? Strike three, goodbye polyester, hello unemployment. I don't want this stupid job. It's time to move on, do something else. Anything in mind? Right now? No. I just got fired. Can we lay off the career planning just for tonight? I have to go. See you tomorrow. I saw these last night. They're clatter rings. See? When the heart faces the body, it means commitment being honest and true to each other. Spinner, they're beautiful. To our future together. I love it. Techie, the lighting board needs a friend. Get acquainted. <laughs> he so has a thing for cheerleaders. You're number three. And a lock to lead the squad next year. You think so? Yeah, you're pretty, you're graceful, a natural dancer. Plus, you didn't get kicked off because everyone saw your boobs. So that's a bonus. Manny, I've been thinking. You know, if you want a fresh start, the door is always open at Friendship Club. <laughs> and, sweetie, the nun lifestyle rules aren't exactly my scene. Trust me, anyone can change. I mean, look at Sven. Prayer, abstinence, he's a believer. As in, abstinosex? Kudos to you for making that happen with Sven. You must be a miracle worker. Wait, um, are you saying that you and Spinner have had sex? Darcy, are you serious? What has he been telling you? Congratulations on all your hard work. Believe me, no matter what you do, you'll thank me for your excellent communication skills. Alex. Thanks for nothing. Oh, A minus, I am on fire. Uh, that will impress the pants off any admissions office. I hope so, because I'm a couple credits short and uh, still all up in the air. You don't know exactly what's going to happen and the sky isn't falling? Amazing. Mm. She's high on carpe diem. Side effect of being fired. I'll get another job. Or there's always welfare. Great plan, Alex. That sounds like fun. Fun. 
Do you even know what that is? Ah, this. This is fun. Do you realize how close I am to that scholarship? You want fun? Let's cut class tomorrow. Do something we've never done before, something wild and crazy and totally nuts. Or there's a sale on at the mall. You're starting with the 60s, then moving on to the 1800s? This is a mess. OK, it's called Creative Liberty, Liberty. And I am an actor, not a historian. Fine, but I don't think Charlotte Degrassi had an MP3 player. I need to steal your boyfriend, Darcy. Nate has mono. Spinner, you are Victor, Manny, Charlotte. Wait, wait, wait. I'm on lighting. I'm more of a behind the scenes kind of guy. Yeah, the show's in two days. We don't have time to discuss this. Read now. Um, Charlotte, promise me you'll be mine forever. Of course, Victor. Our love shall last a lifetime. Marry me, Charlotte. I will, Victor. I will. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> well. What was that? Um, it's just part of the sketch, sweetie. It's in the script. Manny. I'm not stupid. You're constantly flirting with my boyfriend. You still like him. OK, I'm back on lighting. Um, who wants to be Manny's acting partner? Anybody? Yeah, not surprising. What is that supposed to mean? Manny, even you can become pure again. All it takes is repentance. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Well, you should, considering you are the school's biggest slut. You are the last person to ever call me that. No, oh. 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 Hey. Oh. Hey, come on. Girls, Manny, Manny, get off. <laughs> Have you two gone completely psycho? You lied about being a virgin spinner. She told me. this. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, teachers and administrators. Oh, Wait. I think you left out the janitor. Paige, it's a valedictorian speech. I want to be inclusive. <laughs> Refills? Whoa. You look like you just lived through a country song. My dog is fine. Truck runs, too. Must be girl trouble. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. You didn't hear about the Darcy Manny cage match? Dude. Don't remind me. Darcy is completely convinced that there's something going on with me and Manny. Uh, jealousy is a nasty thing. OK, but there's nothing to be jealous of, because I'm not cheating with Manny. That's besides the point, hon. Darcy is jealous of your past, not your present. There's nothing you can do, unless you can, I don't know, somehow create a time machine and erase that past. You should add this to your list. I think you might really like her. Thanks, son. Um, so, have you given any thought to, you know, banting future? Nope. It's months away. Why would it even be crossing my mind? Because it's important to have a plan, to know what's going on, to have some sort of direction. It's also important to have fun, which, by the way, today has been completely and utterly lacking. Fine. What's fun? Show me. I don't know. Take that CD. Excuse me? You've never stolen anything in your life before, have you? And I'm not about to start. It's a rush. Just try it. No, thank you, really. Hi, I'm sorry. That was, that was an accident. Sure you want to do this? Dude, I'm sure, OK? The question is, what about you? I mean, you and Friendship Club didn't exactly hit it off. Ah, old news, bud. I'm just, I'm happy you even asked me to help. Hey, guys. What's going on? You are my everything. And right now, in front of all our friends, I want to start over with a clean slate. I want to purify myself and become a virgin. 
again. It's not just a matter of saying it. Darcy, I was up all night memorizing scripture. I want to do this. I, Gavin Mason, promise to honor God with my body, I will resist temptation and save myself from marriage. Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. That wasn't funny, it was stupid and embarrassing. Could you not be such a drama queen? Can you not be so immature? I can't do this. Can't do what? This living in the moment thing. I need structure, plans, ideas, and maybe just a little excitement about the future. Our future. It's your future, Paige, not mine. What does that mean? It means I have to figure out what I want, what's good for me. Following you to Banting, working some crap minimum wage job and being your lapdog? Does that sound good? Maybe I'll go to college, maybe I'll join the army, maybe I'll start a business, I don't know. But I have to figure it out on my timetable. What are you trying to say? I think you can figure it out. You always wear the smart one, Paige. Hmm. Smiling and chewing. That's talent. I'm happy for you. Because you get to start all over again. Well, it feels good. It's like being factory fresh. Man, who would have thought I'd be a virgin again? Not after last summer. But, wait. <laughs> you and Manny were together during the school year. I don't get it. Um, Darcy, Manny, she was my first. But she wasn't my last. How many, exactly? Two. You had sex with two other girls. Yeah, but that was before I met you. Uh, before I found Christ. Since then, I've done nothing wrong. But you lied. So? I was still cleansed. It's all good. No, it's not. How am I ever going to trust you? You lied to me, Spinner. This whole thing, it's not its not about lying or, or God or anything except you and your stupid jealousy. Whatever, OK? Believe what you want to believe. You know what I believe, Darcy? I believe I will never be clean enough. Not for you. We're through, okay? It's over. I'm not here to bug you, okay? I'm I'm watching the game with Chad. Or I was before he passed out. You look like you got hit by a bus. Page Michael check, breakup express. You looking for a shoulder to cry on? Or maybe just a quick rebound? Jay, I'm not bi. I'm not confused. I'm a lesbian, an actual lesbian who just broke up with her first girlfriend, and it sucks. I'm sorry. It's one of the first times I've said I'm sorry and actually meant it. That's one of the first times you said sorry and I actually believed you. Um, do you want to watch some TV with me? No funny business, just friends hanging out. Bye.
Out day with your course calendar? <sighs> um, Alex and I broke up. I just needed to be alone. Welcome to Splitsville. You're in the right place. You too? Man, I, I wish I was getting out of here like you. <laughs> Do not envy me. Sure, I got into banting, but what if I blow it? What if everyone sees that I am just this, this big faker who doesn't belong there? Paige, you totally belong there. Take it from someone who knows, okay? You're amazing. You always have been. Thanks. No extra charge. Oh, man, the time. Uh, can I drive you home? Sure. That'd be great, Sven.